What if I told you there's a periodic table for machine learning algorithms? A new paper from MIT, Microsoft, and Google Research takes over 20 seemingly different methods from classics like PCA and K-means to modern techniques and organizes them into one coherent picture. So what is that connection? The secret lies in a simple yet elegant mathematical idea. The ICON framework reveals that all of these algorithms are fundamentally trying to achieve one goal, make the learned representation or Q represent the target representation or what they call the supervisory signal P, all using the KL divergence measurement. So what is this supervisory signal P? So for any given data point, let's call it I, the distribution P of J given I defines the ideal connections between I and all other points J. It's the ground truth based on the goal. All right, so what about Q? Think of this as the model's current best guess map of how these data points relate. So Q of J given I represents the strength of that connection between I and J on the model's map. So think of KL divergence as quantifying the surprise or the information lost when you use the learned map Q instead of the target map P, which is your ground truth. The goal of training is to minimize this KL divergence. So let's take a look at one of the elements on our table. Take K-means clustering. You've probably heard of this one. So how does this fit into the ICON framework? The target P for k-means uses Gaussian similarity based on the original input data. It says points that start close together should be related. The learned Q is then derived from the cluster assignments that the k-means algorithm produces. So you might be thinking, this is a neat way to organize these algorithms, but why is this periodic table revolutionary? You could say that there's three big reasons. So one, it reveals a common mathematical DNA connecting seemingly disparate methods. If these methods share a common ground, we can borrow innovations across them. That's what the ICON authors actually did, and that showed an 8% jump on ImageNet unsupervised classification. And finally, the third reason is there's some gaps in the table. These are unexplored combinations of target rules and learned views pointing researchers towards new algorithms that are waiting to be designed. In summary, the ICON framework gives us more than just a table. It's a powerful lens to understand the structure of representation learning and a powerful blueprint for its future. Find out more in the paper linked in the description. If this helped connect the dots for you, please hit that like button and subscribe for more AI insights. Thanks for watching.